Felix from Nintendo Life here, and today we're going to talk about my favorite video game growing up, Mario Kart Wii. Mario Kart DS was the first video game I ever played. I think I was four years old when I first tried it, it was on the big chunky DS, I borrowed it from someone and I just fell in love with it. Some years later I got a Nintendo DS Lite, a pink one, because I was a huge fan of the Pink Panther. Uh, that doesn't matter. What matters is I have a, a big family down in Spain, and they all had each of the DS's, and we played a lot of Mario Kart DS together. But one day, my Spanish uncle comes home with a game. So we go into the basement, because there there was like a big projector, big screen, and they already had a Wii, but you know, games that had released was Wii Sports, Wii Party, you know, all that stuff. But this day, he had something very special. I cannot describe to you how much I was just in shock. This game looked so good, you know, going from Mario Kart DS so suddenly you can do tricks for the first time, you can go off half pipes, you can drive in a motorcycle, everything just seemed too good to be true. The music is one of my favorite video game soundtracks of all time. We have some amazing songs from Maple Tree Way, Toad's Factory and you know, Coconut Mall, but there's just so many I can't remember from the top of my head. Baseline was, I was just completely in shock of how good this looked. One of the first tracks I remember actually playing was uh, DK Summit, you know, uh, the, the snow one where you do half pipes and stuff, and boy, let me tell you how fun that was. It was just, you know, going off half pipes, I, I, <laughs> I feel like I'm just repeating myself over and over, but it's just hard to find the right words. Also, a thing that the new Mario Kart introduced was motion controls, and that is one of the most genius inventions, and it fits perfect for Mario Kart in my opinion. I know a lot of people hate the wheel, but to me it was the best idea ever. It made so that you felt much more immersed in the game, instead of just sitting and pressing buttons, you were the driver in this car. You just drove around, you made tricks by shaking the wheel, and Tricks, what an amazing invention for the game. It made so it was so much more fun going off ramps and stuff. And going back and playing Mario Kart DS, it just feels very empty without the tricks. Like, tricks has been implemented in every Mario Kart since then, and I can see why, because it's just really fun to pull off these tricks. But before we talk about what's in the game, which characters was there, I think we should talk about the bikes, because that was the first time you could ride on a bike in a Mario Kart game. Before you were just karting around in a cart, but now you could bike around in a bike. So bikes were generally a bit slower pace and had less weight, but you could do wheelies of them. So you like shook your Wiimote up and, and you did a wheelie and you gained speed. They were also a bit different to, to handle. Some bikes had you know, they, they could turn really sharp, but they were much harder to control, at least for a very small Felix. <laughs> so now you had more variety to, to, to play. Now it just wasn't cuts. I mean, I actually would say that I prefer this over Mario Kart 8, where you like customize your car. It is nice to have customization, but sometimes it's also nice to have some, some presets. And I thought these cards just looked much more better. Also, character selection. Mario Kart Wii, in my opinion, has one of the best character selections of all Mario Karts. Now, I've not played all Mario Karts, but I have gone and looked back, and Mario Kart Wii just comes up on the top. We have the standards, you know, Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Yoshi, but then we also had a lot of unlockable characters like Baby Luigi, Birdo, Bowser Jr., Dry Bones, Toadette and Funky Kong, and we had we had a few baby characters. Not that I'm the biggest fan, but yeah, we had Baby Mario, Baby Peach, and Baby Daisy. As soon as you have more baby characters than that, I'm out. You know, that's the maximum. I, I just want four baby characters, that's fine. I really liked us playing the baby characters when I was a kid, but it can also be too much. It can be too much of a filler. And four characters, Sweet spot. The mode selection was maybe on, on a bit of the basic side, you know, you had Grand Prix with 50, 100, 150, and Mirror CC. You had Time Trials, Versus Race, and 
battle. Um, there was supposed to be a, a mission mode, but that was cut. That's a shame because it was one of my favorite things to do in, in Mario Kart DS. But nonetheless, um, I remember I really liked the, the versus race. So it was, you know, two teams instead of, you know, everyone against everyone. It's just, I really liked that because when I had friends over, we wanted to play together. Maybe we would, didn't want to compete because that can get very hectic very fast. So I'm going to tell you the story on how I actually acquired Mario Kart Wii myself, because it was not an easy ride to get. My uncle down in Spain had a Wii, had all that fancy stuff, but back in Denmark, I didn't have a Wii, I had a DS. I'm, I'm very grateful for that mom. But how do I get a Wii? My mom and dad wouldn't buy me one, I didn't have enough money because I was eight or something. So when I was a kid, I played a lot of violin. Oh, At the time, I was very cute, and I could go out on the streets and, and play a little, gain a little uh, money. I was boxing, I think it was called. And, you know, they said, well, why don't you do that? Go out and earn for a Wii. But a Wii was expensive as hell. But, you know, even though it was very expensive, I just went out, I played a lot. This was Christmas season, so a lot of people were out on the street, and I could play Christmas songs, even though not very good. It was still very cute. Uh, at least my dad told me I... I myself remember being very embarrassed on going on the street and, and playing, but you know, it worked. I almost had enough for Christmas, but I got a surprise because Christmas Eve came around and me and my dad, my mom sat at the Christmas tree and there were two big boxes. You know, I had wished for Wii for a long time, but you know, they always said it was too expensive that I wouldn't, I wouldn't get it. So I opened the next to last package and I open it and it's... It's Mario Kart Wii with a Mario Kart Wii wheel, but wait a minute, I don't have a Wii, there's one box left. So I open the last box and ah! it's a Wii. And that's when I become a professional Mario Kart Wii player. Bet you didn't know that, because that's a lie. I wasn't very good at the game, um, I was just a little kid, um, and I thought the controls were hard, but I had the time of my life really when playing. A thing I really enjoyed about the game was how hard it was. Normally I don't enjoy hard games, but courses like Rainbow Road or Wario's Gold Mine were really challenging for, for a kid of my age. You know, I, I was always falling off and, and you know, when you fall off, there's this big cutscene of, you know, has to go to black and then Lucky 2 picks you up. Mario Kart 8 luckily made that a lot quicker, but there was also something about that that made you really just want to stay on the road. You just didn't want to fall off because if you did, it's game over, man. So yeah, Mario Kart Wii just has a very, very special place in my heart. I went back and looked at some of the courses just before, heard some of the music, and I was in tears. Mario Kart Wii was just my childhood. All my friends, everyone just played Mario Kart Wii when I was a kid. I know a lot of people don't have this game as close to their heart as I do. They have games like Ocarina of Time, they have games like Mario Kart 64. Mario Kart Wii is just such a special game to me. Oh, the nostalgia is just pumping through me right now and I think I need to end the video before I get a bit emotional. So yeah, thank you for listening to me talking about my favorite video game as a kid. I know the video turned a lot longer than anticipated, but take care, play some Mario Kart Wii. Felix from Nintendo Life here out. <laughs>